And one of the things I was speaking with one of our coaches earlier today, Coach Junior, and as we were reaching out in contact with all these guys, it's not, I don't want to say this in the role, it's not that we forgot about all of these, but in other words, as I was going through the list, and I remember, I was like, wow, we got, you know, we got to contact with a lot of kids. Remember when we met with these guys? Remember when? And it just got me jump-started again, and I got all excited, all right? And, I, and then I couldn't wait for this meeting to start. So I'm just saying, hey, you guys picked the right place to be, okay, with our brand-new complex that opened up last year. Okay, we got to finally practice on it about the second week last year, and it's just, it's unbelievable. All right, if, you know, as you're coming in as a ninth grader, if anybody was at our opening night last year, we had almost or above 2,000 people in the stands to watch a high school football game, okay, in the year 2019. That just doesn't happen in New York City anymore, okay? But people come to New York High School because of our location, because of the hard work of the players in our program and my staff, okay, and the great administration that we have that promotes our program, our, our athletic director, Mr. Cerrito, our principal, Mr. Angeles. Okay, New Dorp High School, fellas, is a fantastic place to spend four years playing high school football. We compete at the highest levels, okay? We didn't make the playoffs last year, but we're chomping at the bit to get back there and be back up and the of all of the So we're gonna now, transition to our parents club okay i'm going to introduce you to, to two fine ladies okay two fine ladies that really have just you know yeah we, we want to win football games and all of those things but you can only win football games if all parts of your program are running well okay if you don't if it's just good coaches that ain't going to get it done if you just got good players that ain't going to get it done you need a good parent staff just the same you need the support of parents in order to make all of the things that we want to do happen. Okay, and I don't want to say any more because I don't want to steal their thunder, but I'm going to introduce you to two ladies right now. And then they can both, you know, you can say a quick, Caroline, how are we doing as far as the presentation? You got that rocking and rolling? Hi, I'm going to do it through my phone. I think it's going to work. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, so, so we have Caroline, Luciano, and we have Christine Romeo. So Caroline, would you could start first? Yes, hi everybody. I cannot believe I'm having technical problems. I The past three months I was okay. I'm gonna try to um, share my slideshow through my phone, but um, I can't wait to meet everybody. And me and Christine are so excited. Um, this is just like one of the best football programs ever. The best on Staten Island, for sure. Coach Murphy's amazing. So I'm looking forward to meeting all of you. Christine, you want to say hi? Um, hi, everybody. Uh, looking forward <laughs> to meeting everybody. I actually know a couple of faces on here uh, through the other football programs and the eighth graders, so I'm glad to see them on here. And uh, it's only to see them in the football team. Hi, Carolyn. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to try this. Okay, let me go to my screen. Wait a minute. Here we go. Okay, present screen. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to try. If not, we have another option. Oh. Okay. Car Caroline, you're good. It's showing your screen. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So now I just have to... You guys still see my screen? Do you guys see the slideshow? Yes. It's up. Yay! Okay, here we go. And this is like through my cell phone. Wait. How crazy is that? Hit, uh, hit the play button up on top, uh, Caroline. You got it. Okay, hold on one second. All right, I'm going to hit my play button. All right, let's just go hit, we'll hit my audio. You want to present on this device? Wait a sec. All right, tell me again. Hit the play button. Okay. On the and then device. present on this device. Okay, here we go. Sound's not working. Yeah, Carolyn, the sound's not going on. It's not going on. Okay, I can read it. I'm so sorry. So basically, I can go through this. Um, and we're <laughs> going to send you a link, and you will be able to uh, go back and press the little speaker on each slide, and it kind of just I can you know go into a little bit more information. But basically, welcome to the New York High School Football Parent Club. Uh, fall 2020, and if your son is in the um, one of the football players here at New York High School, you are automatically a part of our parent football club. 
And our purpose is to promote pride, respect, spirit, and unity among the New York football players, the student body, staff, coaches, family, and community. And we need your help. We need member volunteers. So the parents, you are a crucial part of the success of the program. This is my favorite slide. This is really, really important. If you want to even take out your phone and take a picture of it, this gives you all the ways um, to communicate to us and the ways that we can communicate important information to you. We are on social media. We have the Remind app, just like Coach Murphy went through. Um, if you want to take your phone out right now and text to 81010 and text the message that's right there in the message box, the at sign, the number 4GKEDE. -E. We also have an email address, and right there are our cell phones. Those are our private cell phones, myself and Christine's. Um, so, you know, please don't, you know, use us if you ever have a question or anything. Uh, come to us first. We try to uh, answer questions that we can so the coaches are freed up to, you know, be with the boys and focus on the football. But if you need the coaches, of course, we could be that liaison and get you to them. And this is a really great picture from last year. Every year we have in the winter an uh, annual awards banquet. It was at the Vanderbilt back in February. And that is uh, all the parents that came out all the time to help and volunteer. Even if you come out one time, you know, you're a part of our club no matter what. And they all jumped in. It was a cool picture. And then we will be collecting dues. Last year was like $60. Everything's kind of unprecedented this year as we go forward. But basically, we use those dues to um, help uh, finance things that uh, the school is not able to contribute. And also, we use a lot of that money um, to feed the boys. We like to feed them pre-game meals. If it's an early game, it's a breakfast. And then if it's a later game, like after school, we try to get like chicken and rice from them. Just, you know, something when, before they get on that bus and head out. All the money goes right towards the boys and the football team. And here you can see this year we're set up. We have PayPal. We have Venmo. So there's all different ways that you can um, pay the dues. Uh, we're not ready yet to, you know, start collecting that. But some cool pictures on this slide. Um, that was our Kruger Cafe. We had so much fun in there. It was a really fun time. Um, it was our little concession stand. And all the money went right back to the boys and the team. Uh, just more pictures on and off the field to see uh, the varsity coaches all standing there. And your boys are very blessed because they're really under the leadership of some amazing men as their coaches. And the fundraising, that's a big part. That's why we need a lot of help from the parents um, throughout the year. Football is 12 months a year. I didn't realize that. And it is. It, it's kind of like lasts all year long. So all year we do different fundraisers. Right now we're doing something with the Jason Garrett Starfish Charity, and we're collecting. It's a GoFundMe page where the money is going to send meals from local restaurants to the essential workers at the hospitals, uh, the Staten Island University Hospital. We are selling masks. You got to wear them now. It's to go into stores. I'm sure they're going to have to wear them in school. Why not wear computer high school football? Yes. So they're fifteen dollars each, and you can actually order one right now today. And I will drive it to your house, or I will ship it to you. Um, I'm still selling those. We're selling T-shirts, and we're also selling pajama pants. So, and all this money goes right back to the boys. And that's me, Christine. And we can't wait to meet you. And please reach out anytime. Again, my cell phone, Christine's, are all on these slides. Uh, and if you want to Venmo me, we'll put it in the message box or call me again about the masks. I want to sell them now so the kids have them going into school in September. So, does anyone have any questions? Caroline, do you want to go back to the, the slide with all of the uh, information about Reminds for the Parents Club? Because the parent, the parent Club Remind is different from the New York Football Remind. Okay, here it is right here. So 
I suggest writing this down quick or taking a picture of this slide with your cell phone. And, um, you know, that's it. The remind is different. We try to send Coach Murphy's reminds again through our reminds, his messages, but sometimes we have our own messages. So you do have to sign up for co uh, the coaches and also the parent club reminds. And uh, jot down our cell phone. If you're interested in masks, you can call me tonight or text me and we can get them to you. And that would be kind of cool. The kids, you know, the freshmen coming on into school in September, they've got the football mask. Is that, is that any other slide I should put up? No, I'll leave that up for a sec. Uh, Christine, come on, come on and just introduce yourself and maybe go over a couple of the key points. That, again, just to make sure everybody's signed up and... Okay. Again, sign up for the Remind Me. It's important. Um, social media. I'm big with social media. So pictures of the boys. At some point, we will send out a consent form for photos for the players. So when I go on social media, I will post pictures up. You'll see different things. Uh, email, I do email the parents, everything, so uh, send your email over through that way. And uh, that's it. Communication is the key, and that's how we all stay in touch with each other. Everyone knows everything, and hopefully uh, we get to see each other soon. Yeah, we're planning something. Uh, we want to plan a parent social get-together at some point this summer once we get more direction from the you know DOE. the DOE and the government of course um, so we hopefully will meet you sooner than later yeah. okay can you just uh, stop presenting on that screen let's we'll go back to the regular screen okay yeah Fun. Thank you. stop presenting great <laughs> Okay, guys, one of the other things, uh, uh, Caroline, Christine, thank you very much. That was awesome. But, right, guys, I mean, I, they did a tremendous job just now. You know, again, with these Google Meets, it's kind of, it's not as easy to, to kind of get the points across or the feeling. The thing about our parents club that I love, okay, and how I really get to enjoy it the most is at our JV games, when I don't have the pressure of my own game. And I walk around and I, and I see all of the different things that they're doing. Mm -hmm. But it's not only what they're doing, it's the reasons why they're doing it. You could just sense that everybody's kind of doing things for the right reasons. And we try, we do our best to make, you know, listen, a lot of parents' clubs kind of sabotage themselves because the parents get competitive amongst each other. And we really kind of don't allow that. We kind of nip that in the bud as fast as we can and we say, hey, this thing is just about making this environment the best that we can for the kids. Okay, if anybody wants to join our parents club because you want some sort of fancy title that you're the treasurer, or you, we don't even have titles. Okay, we just have a whole bunch of parents that, that join and help out because they want to see their kids be in a great, productive environment. So, again, I stated this at the beginning and I'm going to restate it. Our parents club and our program as a whole will only be as successful as all three of those moving parts. Our, our players, our coaches, and our parental support. If any one of those things falls through, okay, it hurts. It hurts us greatly, and the other two things can't stand on their own. So, you know, again, what's your situation? Everybody's parents schedule. You know, listen, it's the year 2020. Parents, I know I'm a parent myself. I got two young daughters. We're being pulled in a million different directions. But the thing that you can do is you could jump on a reminder. and you could call a Christine or a Caroline and say, hey, I'm not available this weekend. I got this or this, but what can I do in the future? All right. And, and as long as you do that, that's the right way to handle it, to just run and hide or try to think that nobody's noticing that, hey, I haven't done anything. We notice. OK. And, you know, we'll do our best. We'll ask you once. We'll ask you twice. But again, if, you, if your son's playing high school football, OK, you need to be a part of it. You need to be in, in the mix. All right. Also, I think I got Miss Kane. Do I have you now live? Maybe.